Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Hopefully this will be a fairly quick tutorial because I just really want to look at Affinity Photo and changing some keyboard shortcuts and then a very quick look at bringing back some of the studio tabs or bringing them back or removing them. Um, but first on to the keyboard shortcuts. Now I did make a video about changing the foreground and background colours back to the default black and white. Um, and I have taken that shortcut out of here so I can just quickly go over it again and restore it back in. Um, so at the moment they, they are set on blue and green. And when I put the keyboard sh shortcut back in, we can be quickly be able to change it back to black and white. Um, so to get to the change the keyboard shortcuts, we need the preferences panel. Now there are, are three ways of doing this. The first one, if you just open up a background without adding any layers or anything like that, and you come to the move tool, you've got the preferences tab here and it opens up with this preference tab I'll just quickly close that but if you have already set up some layers and what have you so if I add a layer to this from the move tool that preference tab has disappeared so let me just quickly just fill this in with blue as it's set as the foreground color so the other two ways of getting to the preferences is by pressing control and the comma so I'll we'll close that and the last way is going for the edit menu and then down to preferences and as you can see control and comma is the other option there so from the keyboard shortcut option here if you just click onto that by default it's set at file but if you click on the drop down menu and come to miscellaneous the one of the options here is set fill to black and white um, in fact I thought I'd taken this out but I obviously hadn't but what I did make it was I pressed down the alt key and pressed X um, because I've, I've found that most of the shortcuts don't use the alt key that much unless it's in conjunction with something else so I've been using the alt key to make my shortcuts and another good one while we're here that you could use is setting the fill to 50% grey sometimes it's quite useful to have a 50% grey so to get it quite quickly is quite good so I'm going to press down the alt key and press 5 so 5 or you could even make it 50 but 5 is ok for what I want now the next thing I want to have a quick look at is if I come back up to the top here and come to tools now if I quickly go to the help file where it lists all the keyboard shortcuts the flood fill tool and the gradient cycle were both set on G now I found when I pressed the G all I got was the flood fill tool and when I came down to check the gradient tool didn't have a, a setting probably been overlooked by serif or it might just be my version that hasn't worked out like that so if I put a G in there that will now mean that those two will toggle you press it once or twice it will go from one to the other so let me just close this so if I now press alt and X these colors should go back to black and white if I press alt and 5 that will now be 50% grey and if I if we look over here if I press the G key 
it will now toggle between the flood fill tool and the gradient tool. I know it's fairly easy just to move the key over, uh, the key mouse over, and just click on one or the other. Um, this is probably not a major keyboard shortcut, but I do think changing the colours is a good. way of doing it with with the um, keyboard because trying to get this back to black and white without you know a quick shortcut is rather laborious you just have to bring it and do it all manually sort of thing whereas just pressing alt and x is so much quicker right so that's my quick look at setting up some of the those sort of keyboard shortcuts but the next bit I want to look at is looking at these studio tabs now down down the right hand side here we have by default it sets up with like four tabs in this section five tabs in that section and four tabs in this section now you can add or remove certain tabs by coming to the view menu in studio and all those that have got a tick on are the ones that are currently viewed if you want to add more or remove some you can just put a tick next to the one you want or remove a tick from the ones you don't want so quite an important one is obviously layers so you'd want that on all the time whereas macros you may only use occasionally so you don't necessarily want it all the time but you can set up a, sh a keyboard shortcut so you can bring up the macro or whatever option you want but I'm going to use the macro as an example bring up the macro tab quickly without having to sort of go view studio all the way down the macro to turn it on and then repeat it all to turn it off so let's go back to the preferences and open up the preference panel again and again we want to go to miscellaneous which is down the bottom and then down the bottom of here we have the toggle the different panels um, now pretty much all of those options in the view studio menu are listed but the only one I can't seem to find is library which would have been helpful because it works well with the macro panel but I'm just going to set this up here so I'm going to click in here again I'm going to use the alt key and M for macro so I'll just close that and if I now press alt and M the macro panel I've had it set up to open up here on the left but yours may open up over here in one of these panels so I could now quickly open and shut if I press Alt and M again the macros panel will disappear so I'll do that again and like I said the library would have been a good option because view, the, view studio uh, library because the library holds all the macros that have been made or I've installed so it would have helped if they'd opened up together let me just if I press Alt and M and I see it just shuts the macro it doesn't shut the library so I would ha still have to come up to view the view studio and turn off the library so if it, there is one of these panels that you use quite often or not all the time but you know fairly often you can set up a keyboard shortcut to open it up quickly and close it quickly so that's my very quick look at setting up some keyboard shortcuts and if I would advise you to have a quick look at all the different options that are available and, and any that do not have a keyboard shortcut set up that you think you would want set it up so it suits your needs. Hopefully this has been of some help. Thank you for watching and goodbye.